And the next thing we want to do, we've done an opening in our floor. We could repeat that up here again, and I believe you can copy and paste. Just delete this beam system altogether. Copy and paste up this beam system in those extra beams. Now let's go to the main floor and put an opening with more or less like a little sump pit in there. Um, let's go to top of main. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my surface, uh, pick surface is on. I'm going to pick that floor or I can pick it in any other view and say edit boundary. And all I'm going to do is use a rectangle tool and say, okay, you know, there's a opening in my floor there. I can use reference planes, no and no. So now I have a, a hole in my floor and I'm going to go down to my top of footing. And in my top of footing, because I'm going to draw a little kind of retaining wall with the footing, I'm going to underlay my main floor above so I can see, okay? Underlay. Now I can see that opening above. So I'm going to draw some walls. I'm going to say, okay, structure, uh, wall. Actually, I'll just pick this wall and say, create similar. Give me one of these. And by default, if it's set to be depth, make sure this says height. Okay, and it might give you a warning about top and bottom of the wall. Just make sure this gets set to height. You're on top of footing. We're going to go core face exterior. We're going to go top of footing with an offset of zero up to the main floor minus 175, which is the thickness of our floor, even though it's actually called a 225. We forgot to rename it. And now I'm going to use my rectangle tool. I'm going to pick on this corner work my way around and use my space bar to flip it to the outside of that opening. Escape, escape on the keyboard. Let's go to my 3D view. Okay, there's my opening in my floor. Pick on this footing. Create similar. Bang, 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 bang. Escape, escape. Okay, go down. Maybe we want to put a little floor in there. Okay, uh, let's do that. Let's structural let's add a floor and we'll use that same 225 in fact we should rename this because it's not it's not a it's a 175 okay and that'll rename it everywhere and i'm going to say okay it's at top of footing plus 175 because it's got to be above the footing and then i'm going to use my rectangle tool and Draw a little floor in there, escape, escape, finish that, maybe pull my section down for the time being, double click, open it up, opens up that section, probably want to turn my detail level up. And zoom in over there. Not too bad. So there's my sump pit. There's my opening above. Looks good. Oops. And we could do a call out of that, of course, or we could extend this call out out. So nice little call out detail over there. Get my 3D view. And there's my um, floor opening and my uh, slab opening. 